no see. I am so sorry I've not uploaded in a few weeks. Basically, I filmed a vlog that I was going to upload a couple of weeks ago and my SD card that that vlog was on broke, like the end of it broke off so my laptop wouldn't read the SD card. So that vlog was completely lost and then basically I just had two weeks of term where I don't think I've ever had that much work like and I was trying to balance everything else as well and like not completely just let myself work myself into the ground because I knew that I had to push through it and it was like a long period, it was like a few weeks where I was just like... And I just thought, okay, I'm just not going to upload because I said to myself, I'm not going to put pressure on it this year. But we're back. So I thought today, um, obviously, as you can tell, like, I'm just um, very chill. I've just dried my hair, just woken up about an hour ago. Um, I'm going to film a room tour because a lot of you have been asking for that. It's not perfect. It is a little bit messy sometimes. Um, but I thought I would show you anyway because I am really happy with how it's turned out. And I don't have to move out for the rest of this year now. So it is just how it's going to be. Um, but yeah, without further ado... Let's start. Yeah, so for context, I am in third year accommodation at Lady Margaret Hall, which is a college at the University of Oxford. These are the tower blocks, and we're very lucky that we get to live in college for the whole three years. Like, you don't have to move out. You can if you want, but I didn't want to. Um, I would give you a tour of the whole flat, but it's a bit of a stay at the moment, so I feel like we'll just do my room for today. <laughs> so, when you come in through the door, I have this, like, little entryway, essentially. Um, I've... I've just realised there's a stain on the floor. I hadn't, I've never seen that before in my life, but there we go. Um, and I have this poster, which is Shocker, Billy Joel. I saw it on Redbubble and I just thought it was really cool. It doesn't really match with everything else, but we're not going for aesthetics in this room. It's just things that make me happy. And then on the back of the door, I've just got like a command hook with my gym bag. And then here I have three posters, which I got from Seville. Um, yeah, they're all from like markets and things like that, random like flea markets and shops and I absolutely love these so much and they work together really well as like a little cluster and a reminder to everybody that I did in fact go on a year abroad. <laughs> Down here, very boring, I just have my three most commonly worn pairs of shoes and my rucksack which is from Seventeen London, a lot of you have asked where that's from, um, but yeah I always just have that there because I'm going straight out the door and then here I have a key holder, it's a command hook, and I just have my two lanyards with my keys on. Here we have an England rugby scarf, because I went to the rugby with Polly and I kind of bought it as a bit of a joke, but it's kind of just there now, um, because I don't really know where else to put it. And then I also have my advent calendar, which my mum very kindly got me for Christmas. This is the piano. Um, I've not really used it that much this term, if I'm brutally honest. It's really, like, quite a shame, but I just don't really find myself with time. But I am going to try it over the back to play it more. Right now I've got Billy Joel sheet music on there. Shocker. Then I have a lint roller and my two, my film camera and my Polaroid camera. And then down here I just have the sheet music. Um, and that's about it in terms of the piano. Now on to the notice board because this is something that a lot of you have asked about. It's, it's, it's filling up slowly and I will carry on filling it up. But I thought I would just show you a quick overview. And then I've kind of got fairy lights going around the side which looks super, super cute in the evening. I think my room comes alive the most in the evening. Um, which is a shame because I'm filming this to upload this evening. So not really, not really thought that one through to be honest. <laughs> okay, I am going to go through them individually because a lot of you asked where they were from. So this is from the Picasso Museum in Barcelona. That one is as well. This is obviously from like a random tourist shop in Mallorca. Random tourist shop in New York. Honestly, like I am really if you go away and you have a notice board like this then just look out for postcards because you can get so many and then this is the polaroid of me as elastigirl because i i felt powerful that day and then this one is from the berlin philharmonic and it just makes me crease because it was 2019 that i got this and it says save the date 2020 for their new 2020 season which got cancelled because of covid and like i just think the save the date thing is kind of fun and it kind of fits the vibe of the board this is from shock horror the sagrada familia shop in barcelona and i think this one is also yeah, this one's also from the Picasso Museum, I think. And then this I got um, ages ago on eBay. It's like an original Billy Joel at Wembley ticket. Um, just thought it was really cool. Back in the day where he used to literally... £18.50. You, you do not want to know how much they are now. Like, definitely a lot more expensive than that. This is, I need to like pin this down here as well, but this is actually a card and I saw it in, um, I saw it in Waterstones and I really liked it. It's like from New Yorker, it's the cover of the New Yorker and I actually really like that. And then this is me and Anna in Barcelona. This one is from eBay. eBay have loads of really nice ones like these. This one is also from eBay. This one is from the Picasso Museum. That is from 
Picasso Museum as well. Quite a lot of them are from the Picasso Museum. This is from when I went to see What's New Pussycat with my dad. This is from a market in Granada. This one is also from Waterstones. Again, I need to stick it down properly, but I just thought it was super cute. This one is from a flyer that somebody gave me on the street in Oxford for the, like there's a very fancy hotel in the middle of Oxford called the Randolph and they've got a new restaurant and this was like the graphic on the bottom of the flyer, so I cut it out. Um, this is from New York, obviously. Um, this is me, this is me and Rob, but I, we were testing out whether we wanted to caption the Polaroids. We have a Polaroid wall in the kitchen, and we were testing whether we wanted thin or thick, and we ended up going for thick, so I just put it on here, because I didn't want to waste a good Polaroid. And then this is a red bubble sticker, actually, which I didn't end up putting on my laptop. I believe that's I'm Still Standing by Elton John. You can scan it if you like. This is me and Liv at a burger event, um, in London, which was super fun, and then me and Anna again, because I didn't know where to put that one, and I know they're basically the same, but here we go. Okay, so moving on to the bedside table area, again, looks better in the evening, I feel, but down here I just have a box, which is from Primark, which has loads of cleaning stuff in, it's got like vanish, stain, remover wipes, tumble dryer sheets, etc, etc, I have my camera charger, and then here I have quite a lot of different things, actually. So this is just general detritus, that's the broken SD card in question. Um, those are like, I think they're like for spots, I think. Um, then I've just got some lip balm. That coaster is from Granada. That's like my three-in-one charger for my phone, my AirPods and my Apple Watch. Would seriously recommend if you've got all three of those, because it really does help. And then down here I have a cork. I actually collect like corks and Prosecco and stuff. I got that one yesterday, so I need to write on it like what the occasion was and put that in my little box that I've got and then this is me and my sister at the Black Country Museum um this frame is from TK Maxx it's actually so nice I love it so much this I got as a gift like a long long time ago I can't remember where it's from but it's just got bubbles and clips and stuff in then I've got this very sad looking piece of Lee, which unfortunately has died a little bit I don't know why because I have been watering it regularly but I probably did it wrong but I'm going to get a different plant for here and then I've got my Himalayan salt lamp which was from Amazon I believe and some sleep works Stress, stress spray, because, no, sleep spray, because that stuff is amazing. Then, down underneath, I just have the book that I, I was reading before term started, which I've not had time to finish. Then loads of carrier bags up the back there, and a spare mug. And then in here, we have, what do we even have in here? I don't even know. We have my flasks and my, my, my protein, basically. I've got loads of, like, the air up capsules, protein... Um, just like spare things like that, which all are in there. And this box, this basket's from Ikea, by the way. I forgot to say that on the floor, I have this rug, which is from Wayfair, I believe. And I absolutely love it. Um, I did get some dirt on it over there. Ignore that. But it's a super cute pattern, I think. And it just sort of fills the room a little bit. Um, and just makes the green carpet look less horrendous. But yeah, it was from Wayfair. These posters are from an amazing shop on Etsy. If you type in like city map coordinate posters, they'll come up. But I've basically got Berlin, Oxford and Seville. And each one of them has the coordinates of where I live, basically, in the three cities. Which I, I, just, I think they add so much to the room and I really do like them. I wasn't sure what I was going to put on that wall, but I think this was a good decision in the end. Then I have some fairy lights, which obviously look a lot better in the evening. And I also have my bed, and a lot of you have also asked me about where my bedding is from. I know my bed does not look very well made right now, but it's fine. So this blanket is from Wayfair, and then my actual duvet cover is from Urban Outfitters. And then that pillow is from TK Maxx, that one's from Wayfair, and that one is from Christie Bedding. And my undersheets are also Christie because they're literally so nice. Um, and yeah, I really like my bed, super comfortable, and if you can see down there, I also have an electric blanket on it, so perfect for the winter. <laughs> Then down by my bed, I have my record player. So I've currently got Evermore on there. Um, it's the really, really nice limited edition green vinyl. It's not the cutest record set up, but it does the job. And this is the Crossley C62. Loads of you have asked me about that. Um, but yeah, I just sort of generally tend to put the record that I'm playing there and then, then have it there, really. Then moving on to the shelves. On this one, I just have my recipe books. Then this cute little box is from Miniso, and I just love it so much. I know the teas are kind of hanging out, but that's for my herbal teas. I have my 100,000 subscriber plaque and a little plant from Ryman. And then on the next shelf, I have some of my books. Um, that didn't fit on the top shelf and I have my shot glasses. So each shot glass is from a different city I haven't got all of them. I've got about 15 of them, but these are like some of my five of my favorites So from right to left you've got Hamburg, Barcelona 
um, Berlin, Malaga and Seville, I believe. And then I have a photo of me, the dog, Stuart and mom, and a reed diffuser, which is also from Ryman, but I need to, I need to replace that because it's, it's nearly run out. And on the top shelf, I literally just have books, uh, Oxford Union shot glass, which I got given for free. Um, I, I don't, I don't really know where that's from. And a cute little, uh, plant succulent, which is from Typo, I think. I want to say it's Typo. Then on the top shelf over here, I have my Collins German Dictionary, an essential which I never use. Um, and then I have a little hanging plant, which I absolutely love. I love, that's one of my favorite plants in my room. And that is from Ikea and the pot is also from Ikea. And then this is actually a print that Liv made me in my first year of uni of LMH. Like it's of the main quad and I've had it since first year. Um, and that's in a frame. I cannot remember where the frame is from. I want to say it's from TK Maxx, but that is like a really special thing for me. Then we have my folders. Pretty much all of them are from WH Smith, apart from the second to the left, which is from Berlin. Um, and then a very sad looking plant in a whale pot holder because I, I have not looked after her very much at all, so I think I might have to get a new plant for that pot, but I just thought the pot was cute. Then I have my jewellery holders. This one is from Tiger. I absolutely love it. It's so helpful. And this one is from Primark. Yeah, just really helpful to have sort of all my jewellery easily accessible. So yeah, this is an overview of the shelves. They're a bit chaotic, but they're kind of an ugly colour, so there's not really much you can do with them, but... I really like how they've turned out, to be honest. They're very reflective of me. So, moving over to the desk area, as you can see, like, look in the corner, in the right-hand corner, someone told me that that looks like Private from Madagascar, and I actually can't unsee it. Like, every single day I wake up now, I open my curtains, and I'm greeted by Private from Madagascar. It's, it's, it's kind of ruined my life, guys, so thank you for that. <laughs> but yeah, this is the view from my room. I'm very, very grateful that I've got such a nice view. It's kind of off the chapel, and... Yeah, really, really nice and out of the way as well, so there's not much noise. The only con is that I don't get much direct sunlight, but I can deal with that. I mean, you guys have seen this view a million times in my vlogs so far. Then on my shelf, I have three plants. This one's fake. It's from Ikea. This one is just from a plant shop in Oxford, and that is from Urban Outfits, which I absolutely love. And that plant pot is from Ikea, and that is from Tesco, that plant. And they both need watering as well. Basically, I've not watered my plants, and it's showing, so please don't judge me. Then over here, I actually have a little whiteboard, which is for all of my deadlines. This is quite old now, actually, like all these deadlines have passed, but I tend to fill it out at the start of each week, just so I've got it in front of me if I'm sat working at my desk. And then I have this mirror, hello, which is from Boots, and then this mug, which is from m which I've had for so long, with my spare makeup brushes in, this cute little calendar from Tiger, which I've yet to fill out, and my air up water bottle. Um, this is just sort of some detritus that I need to sort out. It's birthday cards, secret Santa presents, etc. And there I have my finance, like my budget planner, my notebook for other things like YouTube briefs and stuff, and then this pencil case is from Typo. Over here I have another jewellery holder for the necklaces that I wear pretty much every day. That was from eBay, from a brand called Sass and Bell. And then this is a little essential oils diffuser, which I find really helpful when I'm struggling to sleep or just working late at night. And that is from Amazon. And then this lamp's from Ikea, but I didn't buy that. That came with that came with the room. Um, a bit more of reality, really. Uh, these books are all books that I need to take back to the library, which I just haven't. I just keep renewing them, which is really not good of me. And then I have my Switch, my iPad, a packet of Maltesers that... Harry gave me yesterday, and uh, shocker, a Diet Coke. Who's shocked? Not me. <laughs> Speaking of Diet Coke, under my desk I have my fridge, which is literally just for Diet Coke, because I don't want to take up space in the main one. This is from Amazon, I believe. If you type in Ice Q fridge, you, they have them in loads of different colours, and I would really, really recommend. The drawers are pretty boring, I'm not going to lie to you. I have my hair stuff, and some lateral flows in here, and then I have... YouTube stuff, like camera stuff, tripods, headphones, basically all of my camera equipment in here. Then in here I have loads of random stuff like batteries, drawing pins, command hooks, post-it notes, stationery, extra pens, film for my Polaroid, I need to go and get some more film for my main camera, and uh, some laptop spray, just basically just all of those sort of little bits and bobs that you don't really know where to put are in here. Now this wee contraption looks a lot more chaotic than it actually is, but basically there just wasn't much storage space for like my toiletries. So I got this little trolley from Amazon, um, it pops off the top there a little bit, but on each shelf I just have something different. So on the top shelf I basically just have 
all of my makeup and my deodorant. That little box is from Primark and that holder is from Ryman. Um, but this has just got my main makeup, my perfumes, things that I use every day basically. And then on the second one I have masks, I have some lip products in that little drawer which is also from Ryman. And then I have a little crate at the back which has just got like all of my like creams and pills and prescriptions in so I'm not going to show you that. Not that it's that deep but yeah that's that one. Down here is just a smorgasbord of like travel makeup bags and toiletry bags, um, some Lemsip, some of my vitamins, and then this is just full of like, it's basically my personal pharmacy kit. Um, it's just got every single drug that you could possibly need in there. Then up here I have some posters. This one is from eBay. This is also from eBay. Actually, they're all from eBay. Um, and I just liked all three of them. Again, I'm not really worried about like how things look, like whether it like matches or anything, because I just pick ones that I really like. So this one is from a Fleetwood Mac concert. Obviously Billy Joel, but look how cheap they used to be. £6.50, $6.50 for a show. Three, $2.50 to see Fleetwood Mac. That's pretty impressive stuff. Um, anyway, and this one is from the Munich Olympics. I believe it's David Hockney poster. And then here we all have this like random window, which makes no sense and is a bit of a nightmare because the light just comes in in the morning. But yeah, on there I just have a little ivy plant that's actually grown quite a lot since I first got it, so I'm pretty chuffed with that. Um, on top of a, a Checkpoint Charlie postcard, I think, from Berlin. I don't know why that's there. Moving over here, this is my wardrobe area. So here I just have this chair, which I've put a little blanket on. And down here, I have my vinyls in a little Crossley crate. This is from Urban Outfitters. And yeah, I've got all my vinyls in there, which actually worked out really well. It's a nice, cute little area. And then on the door, I have a mirror, which was like six pound from the range. And it has served me very well all through my degree. And I also have this really cute um, whiteboard planner, which is like erasable, and then I can just sort of put the weeks and then my plans. I need to fill it out for this week. But this was from Urban Outfitters, and it was like £13 with student discount. And yeah, this is going to be very, very helpful for me next term. I'm definitely going to make proper use of it. So this is my walk-in wardrobe. I don't know what, what God bless me to give me this, because you know how many clothes I have. But up here, we basically, that's like the vacation storage when you have to move out during the vacation. But I don't have to move out this year. So that's just got loads of like random bags and stuff in. And then down here, we have obviously my clothes urgently need sorting. But you do not want to see the pile of clothes that is outside in the corridor right now because I haven't sorted them out. Um, and then here, I have two like quite battered posters to be fair. That's why I put them in here. This one is from when I went to see Billy Joel in London. And this is actually from when I went to Berlin in 2019. Um, and this was the area that I lived in when I went, not for my year abroad, but like for that language course that I did, if you remember that, if you've been watching that long, fair enough. Then we have another one of those weird windows, which I really don't understand, but I've got yet another, this is a fake ivy plant, and this one is from Ikea, I believe, and I've had this since first year. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. And then we have a door that, if you open this, it goes to like the pipes of the building, which are the worst pipes ever, I'm not gonna lie. I love this floor, but like, the radiators are awful. Um, and this just like swings open constantly, so that's fun. <laughs> then down here I have my bras, and then in there I have loads of fancy dress bits and bobs that I've picked up over the years. Um, and here I have my laundry basket. This is from... I can't remember where I got this from, I think... Amazon, I want to say. I really like it, like laundry today, naked tomorrow. And then I have some washing up tabs and a spare bag for life, which I thought was really cute that I got the other day from Tesco. It's a cute little Christmas pudding. Anyway, um, and then moving over here, I just have all my shoes on the floor here. I have my bags there, tights, scarves, gloves, and then I'm not even going to give you a detailed tour of this because it is just a bit messy, but all my other stuff basically. Overall though, super, super handy to have and it just makes the rest of the room look so much less cluttered, which I'm very grateful for. Then finally, we have my bathroom. This poster is from, well, it's not from the Isle of Wight 2015. I actually got it this year, but like, I just really like this poster. Yeah, I just really like the line of this poster, to be honest, and the colours. I won't give you a detailed tour because there's not really much, but that, that little box is from Ikea. That's just got all my spare toiletries in. Then down here, we just have a sink <laughs> with some towels like yeah it's not very it's not very neat to be honest but these are just all the things that i use pretty much every day um and then got a cute little bin toilet don't really need to see that and then a wee little shower like it is kind of very airport cabin vibes but i'm not gonna lie this is quite a nice little shower to have and i'm just so grateful to have an ensuite um and i can keep all my toiletries there but as you can see there's not really much space for loads of toiletries which is why i got the trolley um but yeah Really, really not that exciting, but you've you've seen it now. But yeah, that's basically... Oh, I forgot to tell you about those. They're from Seville, and that is from eBay. Cute little clock. 
but that is basically the whole room. Obviously, it's nothing glamorous, but I really like it, and I feel like it is home, so yeah, I'm very, very happy with how it's turned out, and I mean, how can you be sad when you have private? chilling out the window, you know? So yeah, guys, that is basically my room. Um, I don't really know what else to say other than I really love it. I don't spend all that much time in here because we have like a very like nice social kitchen where we kind of socialize, but I really like this year that my room is like not for socializing, it's just for me and it's my space. I know it's a bit cluttered, but like I just like having lots of color and I think I just this year didn't want to worry about what people thought about whether it was like aesthetic or anything. I just wanted it to reflect me and I feel like it does reflect me really, really well. So. I'm happy with it. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry that there was, there's been such scatty uploading, but this degree is, is no joke. And I am still learning how to balance everything again. So bear with me, but I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a massive thumbs up, comment down below. If you have any requests or videos that you'd like me to film over the holidays when I've not got as much work. Well, I've got lots of work, but I've not got like deadlines. Um, and yeah, I'll see you hopefully next week with a new video. Bye guys. Mwah. Thank you.